Hey, it's Alexa, and in this video I wanted to reflect on my 2023 in programming by going through and showing you some of the projects I worked on this year. This year I learned a variety of new skills related to web development, game development, and even systems level engineering. I saw my previous programming skills improve, and I also put myself out there by leading projects interacting with the developer community, and even shipping some of my apps to Prod. Okay, first one is my developer blog. This was created as an extension of my portfolio site. I really like the simple design I went for with this project. It's a static site created using the JavaScript framework Astro, and I have a video on that, so if you want to check it out. All the blog posts are written in Markdown and converted to HTML at build time, so this works really well with my Obsidian workflow. And this site has kind of acted as a performance playground. I've done cool things with asset loading, images, basically how can I get all hundreds on Lighthouse. It also introduced me to some basic CI CD stuff. I have a GitHub action that automatically deploys the site when I merge in a PR. I coded a very simple Pokemon game on a Game Boy emulator in C. It was kind of a side quest type of project for an intro to low level programming course. And this was something completely new to me. I had never programmed an assembly before or C. What it does is if I run it, you become a Pokeball and you have to run around and catch the Pokemon before the time is up. And if you run into a rock or something, it won't let you get the Pokemon. And you also get to keep Pokemon in your inventory. So very simple game, honestly a little silly, but it was interesting how in order to program the game, you had to know a lot about how the graphics system work, even how the hardware components worked, like the different DMA channels and stuff like that. Seeing that connection between the hardware and the software was kind of like an aha moment for me. My next project was something I did through a club at my school. This involved creating a full stack web application for a nonprofit centered around training service dogs. The nonprofit needed a way to track information about dogs, including documents, behavioral and medical logs, and be able to filter and input those logs into a database app which is what we created. I was the engineering manager for this project, which means I was responsible for architecting the solution, creating tasks for developers to complete, and reviewing code and all other things related to getting this project going. The project uses Next.js, Tailwind, and MongoDB, and also some Zod for client-side and server-side validation. I learned a lot through this project, managing a team, Reviewing code and making engineering decisions, definitely things I still need to work on and are only going to get easier with experience. Okay, this project loops back to my developer blog, but basically I got tired of writing my blog post in Obsidian and then copy and pasting them into my blog's project folder. So like a true programmer, I automated this 30 second activity I created an Obsidian plugin called Markdown Blogger. If you don't know what Obsidian is, I have videos on my channel about it. This plugin aimed to solve two things, allow me to quickly push notes to locations on my computer and also be able to sync these two files. This was a great project because it allowed me to release my code to a community. I think creating a plugin or building something off an already established software that has a large community is especially beneficial for your code to get used and seen because people are more likely to find it. When I first put this project out, I got people who loved it. I got people who asked for more features. I got people who submitted issues on GitHub. And I also got people who didn't like it. But listening to your customers is something that is really valuable in the programming and business world. And I got a lot of stars on GitHub and downloads on Obsidian. So I'm pretty happy about that. My most recent project that I'm still working on is called VChop, and I'm streaming the development process on Twitch. VChop is a command line tool written in Golang that detects and removes silences from videos. I do have more projects that either failed, I lost interest in, 
or are too early in development to talk about, but I just wanted to leave you guys with this. The best thing you can do going into the new year is focus on your own progression. I always think back to how I thought writing a for loop was the most complicated thing, and now all my projects have working for loops in them. Crazy. Stay curious, stay motivated, and stay coding things. I'll see you in the next one.